Hi, so today we are going over all of the palettes that I used in January. There's a lot, so let's just get into it and move quickly. One is a Scooby Doo Creeps and Crawls. I only used two shades out of it, and I only used it once, but I love this palette. I used the Ace Beauty Violet Sage, again, only one shade and only one time, but love it. I used the She's in Parties by Melt Cosmetics. Again, only used one shade and one time, but I loved it. I love that palette. I used the Night Shade by Nor Gourmand Girls. This is my first time ever using this brand. I used this palette twice, I believe, and I absolutely am in love. If I had more experience with this palette, it would have probably ranked in my top one, my top five brands, favorite brands. The It's pigmented, it blends, the shimmers are phenomenal. I love all the different types of shimmers in this palette. Like, I am obsessed right now with this brand, and I may be trying more of them in the future, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. I'm trying to, you know, rein in what I'm purchasing. I use the Wilderness in my No Pan Left Behind, and I have some thoughts and feelings about this palette that is in my next No Pan Left Behind update. It was kind of a random decision that I made. I'm happy with it. Um, so go watch that video if you want to see what I'm doing with this palette. It's in my update number two. I'm not sure if it's up just yet. It may or may not be. We'll see. I use this in my No Pan Left Behind as well. And this is the Nomad Ghost Town. Again, there's a lot of thoughts and feelings about this palette. And that update will be in update number two. So go ahead and watch that if you want to see how I feel about this palette and what I'm doing. I used the Sirens palette by Jolie Beauty. I only used one shadow out of it. It is a beautiful, stunning palette. I love it so much. I used the Carnival Interstellar by Be Perfect. Again, I only used one shadow, but it is a stunning, beautiful palette. The Norns by Odin's Eye. I have been reaching into this one for the pink Charmeleon shade, mostly, and that's it. Um, I really need to try and inspire myself to use more of this palette. I have a lot of thoughts about it. I only like the shimmers. I hate the mattes in this palette. And yeah, I just really only like the shimmers. I used the Sugar and Grunge. I believe I used it twice. And it was my first time. Those first two times were my... Those times that I used it were my first two using this palette. And I really did enjoy it. I do like the updated shimmer formula in this palette. Use the It's a Freakin's Bats by Shroud um, Beauty uh, and Beauty Bean. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember how I used it, what I used, or any of that, but I do enjoy this palette. I have a lot of thoughts about it, but I have learned how to use it. I use the Nightmare on Elm Street Dream Master from Glamlight. I'm not a big fan of this palette because it is new. I'm keeping it, um, but I'm not a huge fan. And I don't foresee this remaining in my collection for a very long time. We'll see. I need to like really just use the crap out of it. Even though I've used it like four times, I think I'm trying to convince myself that I'm going to love it. I don't know, you guys. I don't know. I used the Beauty Bay Age of Opulence. Love this palette. I love this color story. The it, It's amazing. I got this from Andy Dustin. I used the Rick and Morty and I used it multiple times. I got this in a Busy Beauty box. I got this in a Busy Beauty box, and I absolutely love this palette. I love the shimmers. I love the color story. I just, I just love it so much. I was thoroughly impressed. And I used the Ace Beauty Chalk 
tropical vibes that I was gifted from Andy Does Stuff. This is in my pan in every palette um, challenge, and clearly I have not hit the pan that I'm trying to hit. Um, I'll do an update on that eventually, and I'm going to keep attempting to hit pan. Hopefully I can. I have been enjoying using this palette. I have used like multiple shades in this with having pulling it out to try and hit that pan that I am. Um, but yeah. And the Lunar Beauty New Year from BH that was also gifted to me from Andy Does Stuff. I have used the one shade in it like a lot. Again, I'm trying to do, this is in my um, pan in every palette, and clearly I have not hit that pan just yet, but I have used it this month, so I thought I would share that with you. I went through those palettes pretty quick, I think, um, but those are all the palettes that I've used this month. Uh, because of the projects that I've been doing, I feel like I'm using less palettes. If I wouldn't have done the collab that I just did, I would have had five less palettes to talk about. Um, but I'm enjoying doing those and I'm hoping that I'll hit some of my goals. So anyways, I'm just going to go now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe next time I will try and rank my palettes. I don't know. Let me know if you want to see me ranking the palettes that I used in the month or if you just want to see what I have used. All right, I'm just going to go now. Bye.